Hey guys, Sky Into Football here, back with another video and video and today's video is the announcement on Wolves making a brand new signing as we welcome Francesco Tri Trinica Trinico to the club Trinico to the club on a long season loan from Barcelona and at the end of the twenty one to twenty two season we will have the option to buy him from around twenty five million. Good price. This is now Wolves' second signing, as the first signing was Yerison Mosakira, a Colombian midfielder from Athletic, Athletic, Athletic Nacional. Nacional, um, which I forgot to do a video on, as I didn't have enough time and I had lots of other things to, going on. As I couldn't fit it in with the Euro 2020 games going on as well, as I was watching a lot of, a lot of those games as well. Right then, guys, back on to what we're supposed to be talking about now, which is the fact about Francisco Tr Trinico. I think that's how you pronounce it. Trinico is a right winger. He's 21 years old. Old. He's Portuguese. He has six caps for the Portugal national team. Not bad. It's, I don't know if that's the under-21s or, or the first team. I'm not quite sure, actually. Um, I know they had six caps, though. He had 28 the league appearances for Barcelona last season, and he scored three goals in that season through those 28 um, the league appearances. Quite impressive. Before joining Barcelona, he played for Braga in the Portuguese league in the B's team, and eventually making it through into into the first team, scoring eight goals in the 19 to 20 season. I know that's the Portuguese league. And there are only really main, two main good teams there, which are really Port, Porto and Benfica. Also, Braga have, have actually sewn up in the past two or three seasons, uh, two years now actually, two seasons. That is a different league and you're going up to the league now, but it's still impressive for a young talent though. Um, low stats are actually quite good for a young player, to be honest, proving why it's a good loan signing for us. I imagine that Barcelona have loaned him out as he's not always going to be guaranteed lots of game time as his career like goes on. He has time that goes on. But looking at the appearances he's made, made um, but looking at the appearances he made, he made it. Looks like he's had he had a lot of game time, so I'm quite surprised they have loaned him out really. I am for this signing as I think it might strengthen our attack after our struggles last season with scoring goals and creating good chances. But it was down to injuries though, which made it very hard for us. With Raheem Jimenez coming back, he did train with us before last season ended and hopefully he'll be back for this upcoming season. Fabio Silva was improving as the young player before last season ended. Hopefully he improves a bit more this season upcoming. Daniel Podence was struggling before last season finished. Going injured once and got injured again. So he should never have come back the first time. First time he got injured. So hopefully we're getting fully fit for this upcoming season. We might be able to keep him. I don't know. Hopefully we can keep him. Give him another chance. I don't know already. I'm not too sore about just yet. The transfer rumours keep going around that he's leaving her for Chelsea. I can't imagine him going to Chelsea. He was doing better before... Last season ended to be honest, he wasn't doing a, a good in the last couple of games for us actually. Gaining a bit of confidence. And now for Pedro Neto, he will be back in October and November time, the same as Johnny I think. But we're talking about the attackers here, not Johnny as a, a left wing back are we? I think uh, a long time ago, it's going to be a long time until he's back now. He, well... Were struggling last season. Last season when he was there, but when he went, God, that really was the nail in the coffin for us. So with Trinico coming in and hoping that we was keep fully fit, this could turn out to help the team massively. Then Neto coming back in October and November time would be good when he eventually does come back. It would be even better if he was going to be there right at the start. But he, he isn't, so we have to just deal with it and find other options like this young lad coming in. 
Right then, guys, that will be the end of the announcement on the Wolves brand new signing at the club now. So if you do enjoy this video, do give it a like, do subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications every time I make a video. Um, so if you, um, so, tell me in the comments if you are for this signing or you're against it, and tell you what you think. Tell me a little bit more information if you know any more information on this guy. That would really help. That that really would help me out, guys, and I really would ap ap appreciate. And I really would appreciate it from everyone. Welcome to the club, Francisco Trinico. Hope you enjoy your one year season long loan here. Up the up the walls. Up the walls. Bye bye, guys.